Dear colleagues, in this case, I had to face high phase, that is intraoperative floppy iris syndrome. Let us see how the case was managed. By this time, the main incision has been made. Viscoelastic substance, HPMC, has been injected into the anterior chamber. Now, this is a side port on the right side of the main incision. And this is another one on the left side of the main incision. Now, capsular axis is to be done. I take a 26 gauge bent needle, incise the anterior capsule and raise a nice flap. Now I take a uh, utrata forceps, hold this flap, go anticlockwise, try to remain at equal distance from the border of the dilated pupil. And thus I manage to get a fairly round acceptable rexis. Now hydro dissection is to be done. Fluid is passed underneath the anterior capsular rim and it is noted that it is going to the other equator. The nucleus is depressed, it is mobilized, viscoelastic substance is injected again and now is the time to introduce the tip of the phaco handpiece into the anterior chamber. The machine being used is Oatly Catrix 3 FECO machine. And see what happens. The pupil is becoming small. The iris is tending to prolapse through the main incision, through the side port. So what I have decided is, I'll chop the nucleus into some fragments. This is the second chop. This is the other fragment of the hemineucleus. And now I come out and see what happens. Iris prolapses, tends to prolapse through the main incision. It was reposited. Now I have taken viscoat. What I want to do is, want to take help of viscometriosis. Viscoat underneath, this is HPMC, and now see the people has dilated very well. Now what I want to do is, I want to do one-handed FECO. I don't want to use the side port. If I use side port, then there will be fluid leak. The iris will tend to prolapse through the side port, and there will be the people will become smaller. So I've just hold it, but see what happens. I'm emulsifying it nicely, but suddenly the iris will come from six o'clock into the port. See how far I am still. The iris came into the port, into the aspirating again. Again, the iris from the left side is coming to the port. So what to do now? I don't want to use the chopper and the iris is coming to the aspirating port of the FACO tip. So I took a deep breath and slowly I wanted to emulsify and want to come out and Again, I want to use some more viscoelastic substance. Is this is viscoat from Alcon? I want to dilate the people by viscoat and somehow I want to manage. I want to see if I can manage without using any people expansion device. Now. I want to be right at the center of the anterior chamber and I want to emulsify the nuclear fragments. Gentle side-to-side -side movement of the phaco teeth. 
is necessary if I am not using the chopper to bring the pieces at the tip. So this is fecal emulsification with only one hand after chopping the nucleus into fragments the chopper has been used only few times that's it the nucleus has been managed now viscoelastic substance is injected again Now cortical matter is to be removed, cortical lens matter going through the right side port, removing the sub incisional cortex, the cortex which is beneath the main incision, going through the left side port, removing the cortex from 8 o'clock. I caught the iris right at 6 o'clock. I don't want to do anything that because this will not cause any disturbance in vision. And now I want to implant a foldable intraocular lens under viscoelastic substance because if I want to implant the lens under irrigation again the same story will repeat the iris will tend to prolapse through the side port see how fast this lens opens this is a new lens from Bosch and Lomf. force lens and now the viscoelastic substance that has been used just before implanting the intraocular lens has to be removed thoroughly um, depressing the posterior leaf of the main wound I have removed some viscoelastic substance now I am irrigating the anterior chamber irrigating the capsular bag and most of the viscoelastic substance come out just by irrigation. Now I am using the irrigating probe of the bimanual IA. Now I use both irrigation and aspiration together. And That's it. The case is done. So we have managed this case without using any people expansion device. I caught the iris twice at 6 o'clock as well as at 3 o'clock. Somehow it was managed. The side ports are hydrated. This is the final antechamber lavage the, and, and the antechamber is formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for watching.